Another live look from Chopper 5 over the protests going on in Redwood City. Nearly 2,000 demonstrators gathered at City Hall this afternoon in what is so far a peaceful call for justice for George Floyd. Protests raging across the country over the death of Floyd have sparked a debate over violent and nonviolent activism. KPI X5's Devin Feely spoke to civil rights leaders in the Bay Area who say there is hope in the chaos. Community activists and civil rights leaders say change is, by its very definition, disruptive and often discomforting. But in spite of what might seem and feel chaotic, they say they see many reasons for hope. The fact that people are so passionate about the issues is very important. Martin Luther King said, you know, riots are the language of the unheard. Pastor Scott Wager says activism, however messy, however chaotic it might feel, is the antithesis of indifference. It's rooted in outrage over injustice and watered by a desire for positive change. When people are, are left out of the equation and there's racial, social, and economic injustice, people are going to rise up. While the angry in-your-face confrontations between police and protesters might grab headlines and the attention of cameras, activists on the ground say they are quietly building a multiracial, multi-generational coalition eager to address issues of police misconduct and racial inequality. Although some people see it in the news as just violence that's happening, when you're down there, it's a bunch of um, individuals coming together who are like-minded and are finding strength and power with each other. Civil rights leaders say the protests are expressions of anger and outrage, visceral, raw, and often unfocused. But to become a social justice movement, protesters, they say, will eventually need to detail the kinds of concrete changes they want to see. There is a transition point where how does that energy get transformed into a movement that makes sus substance and change moving forward, and that's policy issues. You cannot affect change by riding in the streets. That's an expression of anger, but that's not going to create change. Civil rights activists say it is important that these protests go beyond an expression of outrage and anger to the meaningful and concrete change they want to see enacted. In San Jose, Devin Feely, KPIX 5.